our last video, we left off mounting the hood. So we got all the hood mounted. And I also went ahead, if you look over, I went ahead and installed the, uh, the latch pull rod. Now, when Street B sends that to you, that's going to be a little bit short. So you might have to make another one, just to let you know. I usually end up making another one. What you do is you drill a hole on the firewall, line it up, drill a hole on the firewall, slide it through, and screw it on. Very simple, easy job. So, back to our grill. This is basically the last step of installing this. Now, I was telling you that I do it a special way to ensure that you can remove your side panels, leave your hood on, take your hood and your side panels off, or have your side panels and your hood on the car all the time. If you come over here, right behind us, you will see right here, very close, that I made some brackets. And what I do is I weld them brackets on there. Of course, this is all going to be cleaned up real nice. And I actually bolt, look right here. I go ahead and bolt the grill to, I go ahead and bolt the grill to the support rods. And once we get the radiator in, I also bolt a plate right here. I pop rivet it down with quarter inch pop rivets, which holds it sturdy. And that way, the whole front end is solid as a rock. You got your side panels on, you got your support rods on, your grill's installed, and you can actually drive the car like this down the road. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install that grill, because the grill, I've already noticed on this car that it's a higher up grill. Now, you can do it the way that Street Beast tells you to do it in the book. That's fine if you want to do it that way. This is the easiest, simplest way that I've found, but it requires the use of a welder. Or you can bolt the brackets on there, drill and tap and bolt some brackets on once you make them. And that's where your angle iron comes in handy. Remember that piece I told you to keep? That's why we're keeping it. Because what I'm going to do... I'm going to come in here and I'm going to cap that off with our angle iron, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off the same length, and then once that's on there, I'll be able to make another rod come out, catch the grill. I'm going to tap that, but I'm going to mark it, tap it, so I can screw it on there. So the first thing we want to do here on our grill is set the grill in the hole. We know that the hood lines up and everything looks good. We slide our grill up in the hole, and we're not worried about down here, because as you can see, we're going to have to trim that lip back, okay? And what I like to do, I like to go up just a little bit higher than what it says there. I go up to the first notch, and I take that out, and I'm going to do that on both sides. So I take the grill out of the hole, I get my air saw like so. And I go ahead and cut the first notch out. Just like that. And of course, this will all be cleaned up later before, you know paint prep. What we're doing is flush it in our body parts. Now, after we notch the grill out, we test fit it back in the hole. Like so. And you really do want that nice tight fit because what that's going to do, that's going to tell us that the side panels are going to fit good. We bring it on up. We don't want to push too hard because what that's going to do, that's going to And on most street beast cars, and this is pretty much every one I've built, it's like the gap over here is just a little bigger than this side. And I usually have to trim some off of this corner right here. So, we're going to get it all lined up. And as you can see, it's fitting really good over here. If you want to look over here. Okay, that's what you want. Okay? That's how you want it to fit. So... We go ahead and get it all lined up. And like I said, the reason that this isn't lining up here is 
is because the hood needs trimmed here. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim that corner off. As you see, it's sticking out. I'm going to trim that down, and then I'm going to line the grill up one more time. Okay, what I just did, I went ahead and drilled two holes on the bottom of the grill. What that's for is that's going to mount our grill to the body. Now that's not going to be, you know, that's not going to have a lot of support on it because once we mount the grill up here, that's where all our support's going to come from. This is basically just going to keep us in line with everything that goes here. So I take the grill, and I've already trimmed this down, of course. Okay, if you notice, you see where I trimmed it down. Good. So you take the grill and you fit it back in here, like so. See, it's lining up very well for us. And then you do one side at a time. You go ahead and line this side up. Take your poker tool and scribe that hole. Then you come over here and you line this side up and you scribe that hole. And you will be able to see it grill shell out. If you look real close down there, you'll see where I scratched the fiberglass. Take your drill and drill it out. Now, I'm using quarter inch bolts and nuts to do this with, but I'm drilling the holes out to 5 16. that is, so that grill will have a little bit of action where it can float around to get the proper feel right here. Put your grill back in. Take your nuts and bolts. This is just a temporary fit, so we're not going to put lock washers, washers, lock nuts, lock bolts. I'm not going to use none of that. This is just bolting it down so we can uh, move on with the procedure. Line your holes up. Get your bolts in there. And screw it on. Now I do stress that it might be a good idea to tighten these bolts down good. And the reason for that is is because now we really have to mount it good. Nice and tight. I'm going to go ahead and tighten them bolts down. And we're still not done with the grill. I'm going to show you how to, when you put your grill on, you'll probably have a gap here. And after we get all this mounted, all the top part, I will show you how to get that looking like this. Over here. If you come over here, okay, you can see that lines up a lot nicer there. Okay. So, if you get a good look at that, you can see that that's starting to look like a car. Don't worry about your gap up here. All the Street Beast cars, the hood always sits a little high. And we need to, what we need to do is form that down with a DA sander and get it where it's a flush mount fit.